Mushroom cultivation is being taken up as an important agribusiness activity in the recent times for a reliable source of farm income. Since it does not require access to land, mushroom cultivation is a viable and attractive activity for both farmers in rural areas and entrepreneurs of urban and peri-urban areas. Few of the important cultivated edible mushrooms are Button Mushroom, Shiitake Mushroom, Milky Mushroom, Oyster Mushroom, Padistraw Mushroom and many others. Olveriella olvesia, commonly known as Padistraw Mushroom, is a warm temperature loving tropical edible mushroom. It is known as Straw Mushroom or Chinese Mushroom as it was first cultivated in China in 1882. This mushroom is very popular in Southeast Asian countries. In India, Padistro mushroom was first cultivated in 1940. This mushroom is known for its good taste and unique aroma. Padistro mushroom is most popular in Orissa, coastal Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal and parts of Chhattisgarh. The optimum temperature for the growth of this mushroom is 35 degrees Celsius and a moisture of about 55 to 60 percent in the growing medium or the substrate. Padistro mushroom is rich in minerals such as potassium, sodium and phosphorus and contains high percentage of essential amino acids in comparison to many other mushrooms. This mushroom can also be cultivated in North Indian plains from July to September and in peninsular India from March to November. The Padistro mushroom is the only mushroom which can be cultivated both outdoor as well as indoor. The outdoor cultivation is done seasonally under the shades of trees by making mushroom beds on the raised platform made from bricks and bamboo poles. Platform is prepared by placing two bamboo poles at one feet apart rested on bricks arranged at a gap of three to three and a half feet lengthwise and at a distance of one feet apart widthwise. Straw bundles of 45 cm length and 10 cm width are prepared by cutting the top leafy portion and hard portion of the stalk near the roots by hand or motorized cutter. These bundles are soaked in water filled cemented tank or in 2% calcium carbonate solution for 12 to 14 hours. The bundles are then removed from water and are placed on raised bamboo platform to drain out excess water. Before making the mushroom bed, two bamboo strips of nearly 1 feet length and 1.5 feet width are placed across the bamboo poles placed on bricks to support the mushroom bed. On these strips, three bundles are spread one after the another up to the full length of 45 cm. This is followed by placing the mushroom spawn at 6 to 8 spots and covering of spawn with red gram dal powder. Second layer of 3 straw bundles are placed in a similar fashion but in crisscross to the first layer of three bundles. This is again followed by placing the spawn in spots and covering of spawn with red gram dal powder. A third layer is placed in similar fashion but by placing the root side at right angle to the ends in second layer. This is again followed by spawning and putting of dal powder. The last layer is again put at right angle to the third layer but with one or two bundles only. Similarly, next bed is prepared at a gap of one to one and a half feet distance and likewise other beds are prepared. The whole lot of beds prepared in a line are compressed a little and covered with a clean plastic sheet.
The beds are checked for moisture content in between by removing the plastic sheets and if required water has to be sprayed or sprinkled to maintain about 60% moisture. After this, the spawn running starts in which the mushroom spawn grows as a vegetative mycelium all through the paddy straw in about 6 to 8 days. The spawn run in paddy straw mushroom requires a temperature of above 30 degrees Celsius and a relative humidity of more than 80 to 85 percent. After the spawn run is complete, the plastic sheet is kept loosely over the beds. With optimum growing conditions, the mushrooms will start coming from all sides of the bed after 12 to 13 days of spawning. Indoor cultivation of paddy straw mushroom is becoming more popular among the farmers in recent times. This method has opened up the possibility of growing paddy straw mushroom at a large scale to achieve higher commercial success. Cotton waste mostly obtained from the ginning mills is the preferred substrate for cultivation of paddy straw mushroom by the indoor method. However, paddy straw enriched with cotton waste can also be used. In the indoor method of cultivation, first the compost is prepared by wetting with water is wetted for first two days. After wetting, poultry manure is added at the rate of 5% to the wetted substrate and pile of the size 1.5 meter height and 1.5 meter width is formed. First two turnings are given at an interval of one day each and calcium carbonate at the rate of 1.5% on dry weight basis is added at the third turning and the substrate is left for fermentation for next two days. However, nothing needs to be added generally in case of cotton waste substrate. After four days of outdoor composting, the compost is spread on the shelves to a thickness of 10 cm to 15 cm depending upon the season. Summer season requires lesser thickness whereas winter season requires more thickness to preserve moisture and heat. After 24 hours of compost spreading, the steam is introduced into the room from the boiler connected through a pipe. Temperature in the room must be raised to 62 degrees Celsius and the same is maintained for 4 to 5 hours for cotton waste compost and 65 degrees Celsius for 6 hours for paddy straw based compost. After injecting the steam, the room is kept closed to maintain a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius for next 24 to 36 hours followed by gradual cooling of the substrate. When the temperature reaches around 35 degrees Celsius, the spawning is done with the fresh spawn at the rate of 1.5% on wet weight basis. The spawn is inserted at a depth of 2 to 2.5 cm at a distance of 12 to 15 cm all along the compost beds. Covering the spawn with displaced compost in the bed is an ideal practice for better establishment of spawn. After the spawning, the bed is covered with thin plastic sheet. After the spawning, the room temperature is maintained at 32 to 34 degrees Celsius during spawn running and the compost gets colonized with mycelium within next 4 to 5 days in cotton waste compost and in about 5 to 6 days in paddy straw compost. During the spawn running period, watering and lighting are not necessary but a little ventilation is provided for the first 3 days. After 3 to 4 days, fluorescent light and ventilation in the morning and evening is provided. The plastic sheets are removed on 4th to 5th day followed by light spraying of water on the beds. The pinheads of paddy straw mushroom will start appearing on 5th to 6th day after spawning. After another 3 to 4 days, the first flush of mushroom will be ready for harvesting. The harvesting in paddy straw mushroom is very important as its shelf life is very short. The straw mushrooms are to be harvested just before the volva breaks or immediately after the volva ruptures. 
these stages are called as button and egg stages respectively and too much matured mushrooms are not preferred by the consumers as they get spoiled immediately. The fruit bodies can be harvested at egg stage by holding between forefinger and thumb and then by twisting in either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. In the indoor cultivation, fruit bodies should be accurately separated from the beds or substrate base by lifting and shaking slightly left or right and then twisting them off. The mushrooms should not be cut off by knives or scissors from the base of the stalk because the stalks left behind on the bed will rot and invite pests and disease to mushroom bed. The first flush normally exists for 2 to 3 days with 70 to 80 percent of the expected mushroom yield. The intervening period of 3 to 5 days between two flushes require thorough watering and maintenance of temperature above 30 degrees Celsius and 80 percent relative humidity. The next flush again survives for 2 to 3 days with lesser yield. The harvested mushrooms can be cleaned and packed in polythene bags or in paper bags but the bags should not be sealed. These packed mushrooms must be sold for consumption preferably on the same day. The padistro mushroom is not suitable for storing in refrigerator and hence must be consumed fresh immediately after harvesting. In the indoor method of cultivation technology, the investment may range around 5 to 6 lakh rupees depending on the type of steamer, number and size and type of growing rooms constructed. With proper planning and good crop management practices, a monthly income of rupees 20,000 to rupees 2 lakh can be expected by adopting cultivation technology of pedistro mushroom.